At least two workers at a Houston-area oil refinery were killed on Thursday after hydrogen sulfide leaked at the plant, setting off urgent warnings for nearby residents to stay indoors before authorities later determined that the public was not in danger. Nearly three dozen other people were either transported to hospitals or treated at the scene, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said. Hours after the leak began, Gonzalez said the area was still unsafe for investigators to enter and that officials may not be able to get inside until Friday. The plant is operated by Pemex, Mexico's state-owned oil company, and located in the suburb of Deer Park. Gonzalez said that the gas release happened during work on a flange at the facility, which is part of a cluster of oil refineries and plants that makes Houston the nation's petrochemical heartland. Pemex said in a statement that investigations were underway and that operations had been proactively halted at two units with the aim of mitigating the impact. City officials issued a shelter-in-place order but lifted it hours later after air monitoring showed no risk to the surrounding community, Deer Park Mayor Jerry Mouton said. Hydrogen sulfide is a foul-smelling gas can be toxic at high levels. Turkey has sent 300 tons of humanitarian supplies, including food, hygiene kits, kitchenware, tents, beds, and blankets to Lebanon. The military ships carrying the aid will also evacuate and repatriate some 2,000 Turkish nationals. Turkish officials stated that further sea evacuations would be organized if necessary. Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel on October 8, 2023, the day after Hamas' surprise attack into Israel ignited the war in Gaza. Hezbollah and Hamas are both allied with Iran, and Hezbollah says its attacks are aimed at aiding the Palestinians. Israel has carried out airstrikes in response and the conflict steadily escalated, erupting into a full-fledged war last month. More than 1,300 people have been killed in Lebanon and over a million displaced since the fighting escalated in mid-September. Israel has inflicted a punishing wave of blows against Hezbollah in recent weeks and says it will keep fighting until tens of thousands of displaced Israeli citizens can return to their homes in the north. Last week, Erdogan asserted that Israel would target Turkey with the delirium of a promised land, a claim that the main opposition labeled as implausible and an attempt by Erdogan to divert attention from the country's cost-of-living crisis. Hepimizin bildiği üzere Lübnan son dönemde son haftalarda oldukça sıkıntılı günler geçiriyor. İsrail'in saldırganlığı son olarak Lübnan'a, Lübnan'daki kardeşlerimizi de son derece olumsuz etkiliyor. Bu çerçevede hem Lübnanlı kardeşlerimize yardımcı olmak, onlara insan ihtiyaçlarını karşılamak, hem de burada zor durumda olan ve vatandaşlarımızı Türkiye'mize göndermek için bugün iki amaçlı bir operasyon icra ediyoruz.
Bu insani yardım malzemesi içerisinde Lübnanlı kardeşlerimizin bugünlerde en çok ihtiyaç duyduğu barınma malzemeleri yani çadır, yatak ve battaniye, ayrıca gıda kolisi, mutfak ve hijyen kitleri de yer alıyor. Gemilerdeki insani yardım malzemesinin boşaltılmasından sonra e, tahliye talebinde bulunan yaklaşık 2000'e yakın vatandaşımızı aynı gemilerle buradan Mersin'e yolcu edeceğiz.